I know a lot of you who watch my channel are watching kind of for the video editing stuff and sometimes people ask what's a really simple video editor and I found one that I just want to share with you and it's Animoticon. Now this might be one of the best if you're just doing simple stuff for things like um, well YouTube, Instagram, IGTV, and Facebook and in general just kind of sharing little videos with your friends on social media platforms because it's just so straightforward and it has a lot of little neat features. So um, I'm gonna see, we're just going to go over here. Uh, I don't think we're going to, we're probably not going to do much of a tutorial, but yeah, I don't think it's really necessary because everything is just so simple with this editor, but I at least want to make everyone aware of it and just kind of show you the overview of everything it can do. So it can record your screen because that's the uh, first thing a lot of people are going to ask, but also you can, you just, well, well, let's just walk through this. You can add a video, you edit it, and you share, and you render it. But of course, it's a little more than that. This doesn't really, uh, this is their front page, so it basically just kind of sells it on being really simple, and it really is. But it can do actually quite a bit. It's got some built-in transitions, you can do all the splitting and cutting, and making sure your video's uh, just exactly how you want it. It also has a feature where you can add a voiceover right within the editor, so that seems pretty cool. And of course they've got a bunch of effects and filters because everybody loves those. And uh, you can of course add text and GIFs uh, pretty easily. You can just pop them right in there. And uh, here's a bunch more features. There are more than this, but uh, as you can see you can adjust the color, change the video speed, whatever video size you want. So you can get it in any format you want, if, whether you want it tall, wide, whatever. And there also is a green screen effect. So if you have a green screen and you want to do some fancy stuff you can pop that right in here as well we got rotating transforming background music blur of the video mute you can do a slideshow you know crop fade in fade out motion video stabilization and I guess it has a pretty good rating too so can't really go wrong with that okay now I'm gonna pop out of this screen okay there's some of the formats like uh, the snapchat Instagram and TikTok format there and we got a six by 16 by 9 which is pretty standard for YouTube, Vimeo, all the big video sites. And uh, then we get the, just a square image too, which might be good for, our, I guess it's showing Facebook and Instagram here too. So this is free, completely free, although there are some ads within it once you get going. All right, so let's take a look at some other blurbs about it. I've got a whole list of things here that uh, I might have missed. So it has over 40 special effects, 40 video transitions. I think we already talked about most of this just from their front page, but I think there's a few others. Uh, custom watermarks. Uh, let's see here. You can do reverse. I think the voiceover thing is pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like I might just have some of these twice, but okay. Yeah, that, that's basically it. So here it is. And, and, uh, you can get it, of course, from the website, but also if you're on Windows 10, you can just grab it right from the Microsoft Store and install it right from there. And it does say that it's also for your mobile device, so there is, if I understand this right, a mobile version of this. A lot of people just like to do everything with their phones for social media, so that seems like it's possible. So pretty cool. So when you first launch it, this is what it looks like, and we're just going to kind of pop in here and play around a little bit and then We'll call it a video. So here's the first launch of it, and it's going to give us a little tour. Create amazing video. So we can kind of get an idea of what this is going to look like. And you can see they got these nice bars, and it looks like it might only be one video here, but I'm pretty sure you can do more than that. And they have pretty simplistic little menus here. They don't really overwhelm me with too much. I know a lot of the video tutorials I do of for like blender and resolve and stuff there's just an overwhelming amount of stuff and that might be just way too much if you're just getting started it's really nice to start with these more simple editors because you can get an idea of what's possible without having to dive through a bunch of technical details it just gives you the most common things there's some filters there background music and as you can see there there are some different uh, little tracks here so you can have some different tracks it looks like and even animate your overlays, pretty cool. So, of course this is all stuff you can do in the big editors, but you have to get really meticulous about it. it looks like this just kind of does it for you. And when you go to render, you just pick what you want. You pick your resolution, your frames per second, your bit rate, 
and that way you can get the quality and size you want. So let's pop right in here and here is the front page. And it looks like it's just telling me even right here that it wants me to update. Uh, this is a fresh install of Windows so it's still doing some updates but it looks like it is developed well enough to be even be able to detect that so that is pretty cool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just make this full screen so we can see everything here. And it looks like we got the ability to open a new project here, or open project or new. And there's some quick tools here if you just want to do something really quick. So I guess uh, I'm just going to click new project and go with, uh, we'll go with empty project here. Gives us a name, looks like we picked an, pick an aspect ratio. I'm going to do widescreen for now and it wants us to pick a place to save it. I'm just going to leave it where it is by default there. But as you can see there's a whole bunch of different options for your project. And yeah, already so far this is just super simple. So I'm going to X out of this thing. It's telling me I need to upgrade Windows. Don't worry, I will eventually. So we do have to add a video or a photo clip and it looks like we'll be able to start editing. Now I'm pretty sure most of you could probably figure this out pretty well. Looks like they got undo and go forward, little settings button here. So you can change things and up here they've got a little hamburger menu and there's not a whole lot here it looks like they got a save now i don't think i have a whole lot of video clips let me see if i can pull one in okay so i'm just going to click add video or photo clips here it looks like you can do color giphy or take a photo or video so you can even use your cam probably there uh, or maybe it even offers to Record your screen, I'm not sure. No, it looks like it's popping up my cam, but my cam's being used by my other recording software, so it doesn't like that. Let's do add video or photo, and I'm just gonna go to this drive, go to my recordings, and it looks like I've got maybe something here of a little, uh, I like to do games in a lot of these cases because it's a lot of color. So I'll just click this little magic match here. And it looks like it shows in pretty low quality. I recorded this in way higher quality, so that just might be the way it's showing it. But let's just take a look and see what we got here. Preview quality. Okay, so we're looking at the preview quality. It looks like it does lower this. It's probably so it can be a little fast. You know, if it did this at the highest quality, it'd probably be really laggy while you're editing. But it looks like it does give us some options here to change or so we can see what the ratio uh, of the video is in its final form here. So if we wanted to do one for tablet or whatever yeah you guys get the picture there okay so we got our little clip here and it says click on clip to edit so we click on it here and it looks like we can do all sorts of stuff to it let's just click on trim it's a pretty common thing and uh okay and then we got let's click out of that so it looks like we can just scroll along here and kind of get the the picture here and it looks like it says made with emoticon okay so it is going to give us a watermark it looks like and we do have to pay to get rid of that watermark so they'll, uh, uh, that disappoints me a little bit but it looks like you can I wonder if you can get around that at all nah it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get around that but that might not bother some people if you're just doing a quick clip or like a, a thing but if you want to do if you want it to look more professional you're probably going to want to get rid of that by by doing the paid thing so yeah, they really do try to get you there. It is free to use, but uh, you're going to get that watermark unless you pay, what was it, $6.99 or move watermark or unlock all. So I see. So yeah, I guess just $7 bucks so you can get rid of that watermark forever and you can get better output. So it looks like it is going to limit our output. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. 16 bucks unlocks everything. I guess it might be worth it if you find it super simple. It does look way more simple than the video editing stuff I use. So, you know, based on the amount of time it might save you if you're really stuck on those big ones, it could be worth it. It's up to you. Of course, you make that call. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm just kind of showing you what's out there. Let's just look at these effects here and see what we can get. All kinds of effects. There's quite a few here. Oh, there's some weird mirrors and stuff. All right. Let's just go back to none. So let's just uh, mess around a little bit. Let's do a trim. Uh, trim from slider. 
Oh, let's uh, trim here. Trim, trim from slider. And what are we doing here? I, I'm still just playing around with this. How do I make a cut? I'm not seeing it. I guess the trim is just the beginning and end. So, okay, we'll play around with that a little bit. So the split is probably what we actually want. So I'm going to click split here. And it looks like it split wherever I was at currently. So I know I said this wasn't going to be a tutorial and I don't plan on making one. I'm just really curious myself. So I just kind of want to play around a little bit and see what happens here. So if we click on this one, move this over, go to trim, trim, oh, not trim, split. Looks like it splits it right where that is. So we can do another split over here. Another one over here. And now we have a bunch of different video clips down here. So we can go over to this one. That's that first clip, then another one. So you can kind of section it off, it looks like, and, and do little effects on each of them. Like maybe on this one, we want a little uh, a rotate or something. Okay, so pretty cool. I like the workflow, it's not too bad. I can see how you can produce videos pretty quickly with this. Uh, but I think we're gonna kind of leave it at this. Uh, let's just find out how to render, because you know people are always gonna ask. You can play around with the clip all you want, but how do you get it to render? So let's get out of this. And let's go to save video here. And it looks like this is where we get the final save. And it does look like these are locked unless you buy it. So unfortunately we got that, but you can do all the way up to 4K it looks like, as long as you uh, get the paid version. But hey, we can get 720p. That's not too bad for most social media, I don't think. All right, so I don't know. Let's just render, let's just render 720. And it looks like it does have a save and a save as. So let's see kind of what the difference is there. We get the frames per second. Hardware transforms. So, not entirely sure what these are gonna do, but just based on what they're saying there, it's just some other ways of rendering just in case the other one doesn't work. So let's just go ahead and hit save as, and it looks like it's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go here, go to rendered, and we'll just hit save. And I'm going to pause the recording, but we're going to check out what that looks like here in just a moment. Here we're just getting to the end of the rendering. It took a few minutes, and there we go. So it looks like now we can click Show in Folder, Upload to YouTube, Share, Video in another app, or Rate the application. Let's just go to Show in Folder, and we get an access denied. From Okay, I'm not going to give this app permission at the moment, so I, I'm just going to go to my folder. I know where it's at. And it's just right here. Oh, that's the wrong thing. It is in rendered. And there it is. You see some of the other videos from my channel and other random stuff. It looks like we're, we're just going to open it with, uh, well, I have VL, VLC somewhere. Show me VLC. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Whatever. We'll use this. Uh, pretty sure I have VLC on here. I'm not sure why it doesn't show it. Okay, let's just pop it open with this. I guess that's like a... What kind of file is this? Hold on, let's just look at this. Let's look at this a little closer here. It's a .mp4. Okay, that's pretty standard. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and just open it. Like I said, this is a fresh install of Windows. Okay, so it's not too bad. And that was a 52 minute video. We rendered it pretty quick. It is only a 720p, but it looks like it's pretty decent. It's got our effects in there. That's where we just popped in a few random things like that rotation. Yeah, so not bad, not bad. I really, really, the one big complaint I have is I wish up front they told you that, like, they, they told you what they paywalled, because I had no idea what was paywalled until I got in here and started using it. It would have been really nice to know that you're not going to get the render quality unless you uh, pay. I knew you had to pay for some features, but I didn't know it was going to be for the render quality. That really hurts, because, of course, you can get whatever render quality you want with a lot of other apps like Resolve. DaVinci Resolve, but uh, that's a huge application that takes a lot of practice and learning. This, uh, I don't know, this is the first time I used it. I was able to pop it open and just kind of figure it out. And yeah, I could I could see being able to do a, a whole fancy video pretty quickly here, a lot faster than I could do it with Resolve or Blender. But uh, yeah, you just got to pay for that quality. So yeah, I guess that's going to be the video. Thanks for checking it out. 
This is a Moticon. Or wait, is that how you say it? Animoticon. Ana hmm. uh, that's gonna trip me up all the time. Animotica. It's Animotica. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Matt from Code Tech Tutorials over and out. Peace guys. Quick shout out to my patrons. Thanks guys for helping support the channel. It does mean a lot. Alrighty, peace.